All right, today we're gonna look at what's inside this box here. This is gonna be, well, obviously the Heinz Blazer. Let's get into this. Please, please hold, please hold, please hold, please hold, please, hold, please, please hold. It's my pleasure to present Jimmy Slash. Okay, so let's check this out real quick. And let's see, well, they got the specs on the bottom here. That's pretty cool. So check that out. All right. So now you don't have to watch the rest of the video. But do it anyways. There might be a, something exciting and something secret going on. I don't know. You don't know. All right, let's see. Harns. The word combines handy and hardy with Chinese pronunciation of handy. Handy for life, hardy for survival. I hardly believe that. Harns. It sounds like they come with some better. But what am I going to talk about their name? I don't mind just kind of that. I was just looking at it. All right. Harns, here's the box. Comes in a cool little pouch. Not a cool little pouch, a big pouch. So if you want to go all buck knife on your pocket knife, you can carry that. And here we go. <laughs> this thing is a beast. Big old beast knife. Check that out. Check that out. So you got Harns on that side. Let's see, that's, that feels like, let's go this way with the cover this time. Cover right there, bam. Okay. Blazer on that side, 9CR13 MOV, 9CR18. So you got one more CR and five more MOVs. You know it's going to be a good one. Okay, so let's check this out here just real quick before we do other things. One, two, three, four, just right over four inches of that 9CR18 MOV. Check that out. Feels good in hand. I'm, I know I'm jumping the gun here, but it feels really nice in hand. Let's see right, righties. Feels, feels almost as good. I think that clip kind of gets in the way of the handle there a little bit. But since I'm a lefty, I don't have to care about that. All right, now you do, you have this extra lock here. Besides this big old liner lock here, you have this extra lock which prevents the lock from closing until you want it to, which we're going to test here in a second. All right, so there we go. Now it is tip down, right hand only on that, so that's going to be disappointing for a lot of people, lefties and tip up type people. However, I don't use my pocket a lot. I mean, I don't use my clip a lot, so I just throw this in my pocket with the generous lanyard hole. And looks like you could probably use this. Oh yeah. I'd probably put the lanyard here instead of here. I got on that little, what do you call that little barrel there? I forget what they call those. Back stops, half stops, short stops. Urgh, this thing's really, this thing is super inexpensive. If you're looking for something that's just beastly, it's got this red and black. I don't know what that is. Is that G10? What does it say? Yeah, it says G10. Got the big H on there. If your name is Harvey or Harry, you can pretend it's custom name. Custom or Henrietta or Hank or give me one more H. I need one more H. Come on, one more H. Go oh, one H down there. <laughs> Put an H down there. I'm drawing a blank. All right, hobo. <laughs> All right, that's not a name. That's an occupation. <laughs> All right, so you kind of open construction, milled out liners on this thing, so it's not as heavy as it could be. It's still pretty beastly in your hand. How it looks you there. Not super amazing action, but for a giant knife like this, it's not too bad. It's not drop shutty or anything cool like that, but I haven't oiled it up. So maybe you could get it to where it's drop shutty. Just take it apart there. I think it's just a regular Torx with an ornate design there around the circle. Check that out. I like that red and black. Love red and black. So it doesn't... Yeah, so the lock doesn't keep it closed, it keeps it open. All right, so there you go. I want to weigh this thing. I want to see anything. What do I want to see in this? I would want to weigh it, but I don't have any scales. Oh, it's down there. I need to grab that real quick. Come here, sir. We have a job for you. All right. We'll weigh this real fast. 8.04 ounces, that is a beast, and 227 grams for my European friends. 
So I'm gonna move that because we're about to do something. We're about to do something up here. So it is not a small knife. In fact, let's find a knife that it compares favorably to in size. There is the Cold Steel Formax Elite that we've been looking at a lot this week. And check that out. Very, very in that same humongous knife kind of feeling there. Let's move it down just a little bit so you can see the. See? So right there, you're just getting a little bit more on that back end, that Formax. But, you know, they're still thinking chunky knife. Oh, the Formax. Oh, Daddy loves you. All right. <laughs> That's not weird. That's not weird. Quit judging me. So, what I want to do is, you know, I've been showing you the the way that that Formax will hold up to a beating and showing you the different things about the Formax. And we all know that kind of stuff. But, what if we just got, you know, 30 bucks to spend? What well, if that's all we can spend on a knife and we want something beastly, something that's going to hold up? Is there really any way to tell? Well, I think so. <laughs> Come on. Here we go. All right. So, we're going to try this out. Let's, but you ain't got nothing. Oh, but I do. <laughs> so, what we're going to do is just beat the mess out of it. We're just going to beat the ever I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to activate the lock so that, you know, it's at its best. You know, it's, it's giving it the best possible chance not to die. <laughs> and let's just go to town on this, shall we? I can get some whack here. So, I'm getting some full back handed thwacking so don't you'll see in a second i'm not i'm not messing around here oh hit the camera <laughs> All right, we're gonna need to buy a new one of those. Let's check out that 9CR13. Oh, we got a little, we got a little nick there, a little nick, nick in that. All right, maybe not. Yeah, there's something there. We'll see here in a second, I'm not done. I got more elbow. I'm gonna have to clean up this area nicely. All right, so let's see what's going on here. Let's see how that blade's holding up. Just that one little area there. There's a little ding there, something. Still feels sharp there. Nothing there. Let's disengage that lock and see what it feels like here. I'll tell you what, I think I made the action better. <laughs> a little bit of back and forth. Nothing forward to back, so that's the that's the one you're worried about. It's forward to back, back and forth is usually just the pivot there. But I did, I did, I created a better, some more ac better action on that. Look at that, <laughs> awesome! So that's how you're gonna get your action. Forget the loop, forget the oil, just beat the fire out of it. All right, let's do something. Let's get a coupon in here and see what kind of. We should have couponed it first. All right. All right, did you guess? Did you already guess? I'm gonna, we're gonna find out. Let's see, there's one. That, that feels promising. Did you guess Harry's razors? Harry's razors, I don't know. We'll have to check, I don't think anybody guessed razors. So there you go. You can feel where that little nick kicks in. No, you can't. Right, just a little bit. Man, look at that. That's nine CR18, you know, the stuff that people whine about. All right, let's keep going on this. This is promising. I'm gonna sell a lot of Harns tonight. All you Harns people, good, good call on this one. They got a lot of cool knives, seriously. They have some really cool knives. I have, I'm not getting any money from them, this reactor. It doesn't really come with that sound effect, but it's okay if you make your own, because <laughs> no one can stop you with you got four and a half inches of blade here, or four and a quarter inches. Oh, 
right? Why don't you want to go this way? No, that's nothing. These ain't baby spine wax. I'm spine whacking a fire out there. All right, because you can see, put some dents in that. All right, let's see what we got here. Nothing, nothing. Let's activate that lock. Just a tiny, I mean, just a tiny, really getting nitpicky about it. And I keep making, keep making that action much better. Check that out. So you're looking at under 30 bucks for this beast of a knife. Let's check out the coupon again. This, you know, I'm going with the same coupon so nobody gets confused. Look at that. That. So you're carrying this at work or out in the woods or whatever. And as a backup to whatever hatchet, I know you're going to carry a hatchet. I know you're going to carry something else. But if you did have this and you had to maybe thwack through some you know, trees like that big or something, this would hold up to a beating. This would hold up to a great, huge beating. Let's see that. Yeah, all I did was make the action better on this thing. This thing's a beast. Look at the lockup. Usually when you're messing with a... A liner lock like that, it goes bleep, it's way over to the side here. So that lockup is still solid. Wait, wait, we got something there? Maybe a little bit. I think I may have forward to backed it there. So we got a little bit of play there, but not anything that makes it unsafe. Now look, you activate that. You're this is really cool. This is if you're looking for something to scratch that jumbo knife itch. Don't don't overlook this monster. Seriously. Which thing down there? Harns Blazer. We did a little V thwack right here. Went right through there. I'm messing up my good board. This is my straw board. I probably need to put that away and get another board. Alright. <clears throat> there you go. G10 9CR18, which we just beat up, so don't sit there and cry in the comments about you know you don't like the budget steel. Besides, it's under 30 bucks. How it looks you there, black and red. I'm not getting any money from Harns. I just picked this up because somebody recommended a Harns blazer. I think it's what they recommended. So there you go. All right, that's all we're gonna look at right now. Let me comment down there. Don't forget about the giveaway that's going on for the Demco AD20. Go check out that video, I'll leave the link down there. Huge giveaway. All you gotta do is do a little little footwork, a little elbow grease. A little get out there, invite people to the channel. Like 80% of you guys that watch these videos aren't subscribed. All it takes is a little blip down there. I really wanna give away a bunch of knives. I have two Formax Scouts I'm looking to give away. I have that Espada XL Polished XL humongous brand new knife to give away. And I have the 8020 and who else, who knows? Who, well, who knows what else I will give away. I'm really, really want to give away some stuff. All right. Now I'll talk to you later.